Well, good afternoon. We're back on the project here of our addition. What we've done is we've framed out for a giant window that's going to go in this opening so we can look out over the woods. That's six by six. So this is our front wall frame. And our back wall frame is done as well. Uh, we just had to take the door off so we could put that back frame up. As soon as we take uh, and turn that door around, we'll have that door back in. We're flipping it around so it's inside, opens in for a little while. It's just a temporary stopgap measure. Then we're going to go ahead and finish off the two side walls, put our door in. And we'll be back with you when we get a little bit further on the project and show you how we're coming along. Okay, well, we got the door turned around. And uh, it's actually tighter than it was before we started. So we've got that in there for temporary gap measure. Again, this isn't going to stay here. It was just so we could have something to put up here. I'll frame out a new door and get a door in here later on. But let's go outside, take a look at what we've done. Well, we got the door in, and that's a good thing. We got this wall framed out, so we've got our two main walls framed out. Plus, we've got this back wall that is now tight. We've tied that into the trailer, so this whole thing's pretty strong and pretty sturdy without even having the roof beams up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a crown across the top of this. We're going to put our other side beam up. We'll build that wall later on, but we won't get that roof up before dark. So that's our next project is to get the roof pillars, uh, the roof beams put up. We've got some hangers. We're going to do a hanger deal. So we'll get this header up, get those hangers up, and we'll be back with you. Welcome to the new place. All right, we've got the walls pretty well done now. And what we're doing is putting our rafters on. We're doing that with some rafter hangers. So you just basically make your mark. Two foot on center is what we're using. Put your rafter hanger up in there right on your mark. That'll hold there for a minute and I'll get a screw from Dew and my trusty screwdriver. Andy doesn't like me calling this a screwdriver. He says I should call it a drill. We'll put that in. And we're going to put three screws on this all together. This screw here I'm going to angle down just a hair. That makes sure that I'm not angling up and go right out of the top. My other screw here. As simple as pie. That stud hangers up. So we've got to put 10 of those up all together. We'll get them done and then show you what we do after that. All right, well, we're out here burning the midnight oil. No, not really. We just went in to eat dinner. It's still pretty early. It's only about 7.30, quarter to 8. But we got the OSB on this side of the wall. We got permarep on. So next thing is to raise this window up. Now, this window, as you'll see when we're putting it up, weighs about 250 pounds. It's a 6 by 6 plate glass window triple pane. So it's a heavy dog, so it's going to take four of us. So I'm going to get Andy to come on in here with me. Doing Chris and Andy and I will get the top of it. And we will set this thing right up in. Ready? Go. Okay. Ready? Nice guys. And again. All right, we got the window in, and uh, it was a little bit of a tight fit. I think that the uh, cold had something to do with that. But there's the first nail in. Of 
course you know I meant screw. And I'm just going to get a couple down here and then we'll finish it off once it's totally secured. Don't want a 250 pound window falling out. So we'll get the other side in and we'll be back with you tomorrow to finish off the roof on this. Have a good night.